All right, so we're working late in the shop again tonight on my N600, <clears throat> excuse me, bike engine powered Honda 600. And uh, I've dubbed this project Project Krusty Micro Moto because it's a motorcycle engine car. And what is more sexy than looking at a set of headers? So tonight you can see I just fabricated some headers. I was torn as to what to do. I thought about this for a long time. I didn't know if I should bring the headers outbound of the body to give the runners a nice straight exit off the exhaust valve or if I should tightly tuck them in there. And then if I was to tightly tuck them in there, should I just make one big old log manifold or should I do individual tubes? Individual tubes, of course, are much more complex. You have to create a collector I decided to go with the individual tubes because this engine revs to 13,000 RPM and a log manifold just wasn't in my performance state of mind. So what I did is I took the stubs. Uh, this was a wrecked bike engine and the header was crushed. In fact, the remnants of the collector is here. You can see the tubes were all bent. I threw away the bad part. What's cool about this collector is it's actually got a valve. It's an electronic valve with cables and it, it's, a, it's like a shutter or like a butterfly. So for low RPM, it closes the, um, the collector part way to get more torque and then for high RPM, it opens up. I really wanted to use this, but there was just no way I can fit it in there. We are talking tight, tight, tight. You can see I can't even really get my finger between the front of the car, this uh, sheet metal and the header tube. The engine is solidly mounted, so I'm not worried about any flexing or bumping. Um, you can see the oil filter, or maybe you can't. Oil filter's right there. That's gonna be a little difficult to change, but I figured it's worth the sacrifice. I have nice tubes, Ooh, mandrel bent tubes that go down and they make sort of a try -wy. Uh, Do you see that or not? So the four tubes become two tubes. See that? And how I did that is I started off with the, the stock bike stubs. I then had some mandrel bent 90s, which I upped a little bit because of the tight bend. I didn't want to crimp flow. And then I reduced them back down again here. And I used a, um, see it'd be a Kawasaki 750 automatic header, which I modified to fit. I had some, some old headers laying around, some old bike headers, and I use them for parts every now and then. So, good news. Now I won't have flames blowing in my knees the next time I start this thing up. I'm excited to hear what it sounds like. And the whole point of having a motorcycle engine car is having that unique sound, that great motorcycle sound. And I didn't want to ruin that by making, like I said, a log manifold just so that I could fit it in there. So there we go. That is what I've been doing for tonight. The last four hours, I designed a header, made sure it all fit. And it uh, seems like a pretty simple thing, but it took a long time. All right, thanks for checking in. And next time, uh, I don't know what we'll do. Check my ground clearance here. Not super happy with how low that hangs, but it is what it is. I'll deal with it. I like it. So there we are. Latest update on the Krusty Micro Moto. <laughs> Thanks for watching.